Welcome back, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing gauge cluster. My mile per hour, dude, it doesn't work, so I'm gonna try to get that working. I'm going to be splicing a wire from the gauge cluster harness all the way down to, there's a black box on the bottom. Ah, under here, see this black box with four connectors. Um, there's one, two, three, four. Second one is what you want, which is plugged in right there. Um, the spot you're gonna be looking for will not have a wire coming out of it. Um, I'm gonna try to focus on it for you guys. The spot is empty next to the blue and white. That's what we're gonna be pinning. So you're gonna need a male connector. You're gonna use this plug. Next to the blue and white wire, there's an empty spot. You're gonna use a male connector to pin that into there. And you're gonna run a wire all the way up to your gauge cluster. So what I did is for a male connector, I used... All right, so I grabbed my female wire from my stock harness plug. This is for the stock amp. Mine's rewired, so I don't need this plug. Um, so I just pulled the pin from that. I just literally broke it and just pulled it out. I use this, put it on the inside. So it goes something like so. And you push forward and it will literally just pull right out. The, the wire should just pull right out. So found my wire I was gonna, I'm gonna use. You're gonna take your good old butt connectors. Um, Red one should be fine. Like I said, this is just a random wire I'm using. It doesn't need to be this thick of gauge difference. Um, I'm trying to match it up, but this is all I had at the moment. But after you're done butt connecting them, um, just tape all the way around it, and we'll get it in. Now, how to get your gauge cluster out. Um, this is the bezel for it. So what you're gonna do is take these two out. There's gonna be two screws at the top, and then one at the bottom right here. They're Phillips head screws. Um, once you do that, pull it off. Don't pull it too hard because there's a plug for your dimmer switch back here that you have to unplug. Um, after you get that out, you throw it to the side. Um, your cluster is going to be sitting inside of its housing. Um, there's going to be one screw right here, one right there, one right here, and there should be another one right here, but this one's broken. Um, once you get that out, you'll pull it towards you. Um, there should be two connectors at the back, one smaller one, one bigger one. They're just release clips on the top, pull it, pull it right off. You throw that to the side. Then you'll see that there's two connectors still here. There's a small one and a bigger one. Um, here we're going to look for pin 12. So you flip it up to where the tab's facing up. and. This is number one, if you count this way. Um, there's a diagram that I'll post. In the video as well, to show you exactly where it's at. But it's gonna be this red and yellow one. This is one we're gonna be cutting. You do not splice it. You will have to cut it from the harness, from the stock harness. So we're gonna be using this wire to run to the ABS box. All right, so after you have your wire um, solder to this red and white one. You're gonna feed your cord all the way down until it comes out the bottom. So just pull it through. Uh, make sure you just leave a little bit of slack. You can zip tie it to this um, bar if you want to. Um, Alright, so now you're gonna take your female connector you've made and you're gonna plug it in to your harness next to the blue and white wire. All right, so now that our connector is repinned, make sure it's all the way in. Um, you'll know that it's all the way in once this uh, snaps down. It should be nice and flush. Um, so yeah, give it a nice tug, make sure it doesn't come out, make sure it's not loose. And then simply plug it back in. Plug it back in. Plug. Here's the added wire. 
And then you simply just plug that back into the to your gauge, as so. And cross my fingers. Hopefully, it works. All right, so let's give her a start. Thank you. 